good evening. I'm Dr. Gus Penix, and I'd like to welcome everyone to this, the September the 20th, 2021, regularly scheduled meeting of the Nicholas County Board of Education. I'm calling the meeting to order at this time. Would you please rise and join us in a moment of silent reflection? It was a opportunity to reflect on those things for which we have to be thankful, but to clear our hearts and minds also for the business we're going to talk about here tonight. So, moment of silent reflection, please. Thank you. Would you join the board in saluting our country with the Pledge of Allegiance? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item two on this evening's agenda is, or item three, excuse me, is approval of minutes. We have no meetings to, no meeting minutes to consider at this meeting. Uh, item four, discussion items and presentation. There are no discussion items or presentations scheduled for this evening's meeting. Item five, approval of the contract with uh, Tony Nichols for instruction and follow-up coaching on small group instruction for reading, remediation, and intervention. Um, I'm assuming that would be Dr. Lee, but you have a copy of that contract uh, in your electronic uh, folder. Uh, are there any questions in regard to that contract? Is, is that a, a new endeavor? I mean, have we been doing this? We've probably been doing that with Tony. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Previously, they had Kathy uh, Snyder as a countywide piece. Mm -hmm. but that's become specific to that school based on their teachers' needs and requests. Yeah. So they want to uh, dive further into that with small group instruction. Well, I know Tony would be a good person yes. for that. And yeah, and they're going to cover it out of their school allotment. Okay. Any uh, further questions in regard to the uh, contract with Tony Nichols? What are the grade levels? All grade levels? Will that cover? Will that cover all grade levels? Dr. Pennings. Yes. Can you ask Mr. Moose to speak up? I can't hear him on my recordings. I, you got to speak up a little more. She can't get you on the oh, recording. I said, I said, would that cover all grade levels? Okay. And she said yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All teachers are eligible to participate. Okay. And it's only for the one school. Yes. Any further questions in regard to the contract with Mr. Nichols? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve action item A as presented this evening? So moved. Mr. Amick moves. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Mr. Barry seconds. Any further discussion in regard to the contract with Mr. Nichols? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, like so. Madam Secretary, the motion passes unanimously. Item six on this evening's agenda is consent items. Um, finance, Mr. Hess. Uh, while he's coming, you did have parent payment of current invoices with, in your electronic folder along with the contract for Summersville Middle School. Do you have any questions? about those two items. Thank you. Uh, what's, what is APPTEGY? That is our website. Yeah. There's an end notification. Is that, a, is that a yearly fee, that 28000 That's uh, the initial it's... fee. That's the new one. They had talked about it previously when we adopted our new website. So that's the initial fee, the $28,000 for Apogee. Part and of that was just set up, wasn't it? Set up fees, yes. The annual fee is not that much. Uh, under federal programs, elementary health newsletters, renewal, $80,000. Yes. What is that? Um, I'm going to let Sarah Lee talk, talk about that just a little bit. I figured we'd have a question. <laughs> Last year was the year for adoption for health, and that is the elementary health curriculum. They get a newsletter that goes home with each child, and that's the six-year purchase price. All six years? Okay. For all elementary schools. 
So that's in conjunction with the health curriculum? Yes, There's that is their health curriculum. They use the great body shop. Okay. Any further questions on payment of current invoices? Why is Carrot Top in this case? Carrot Top is, uh, it's like a supply house, isn't it? Um, by, there's a lot of supplies, school, school classroom supplies that's uh -huh. purchased out of That's typically um, schools buy out of that a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, I'm always, it, it took me a while to get used to what, what that was, but it's, uh, it's classroom supplies. I'm glad you asked that, and I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it might have been uh, health, I mean, uh, food service. Mm -hmm. yeah, instructional supplies. Any further question in regard to payment of current invoices? Well, Gus, maybe you could answer the 1600 to the uh, school board association. That's for um, that would be for all of our trainings. Training. For all five of us to attend that for our uh, training hours. You didn't think I was free, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he was getting a bargain now. <laughs> <laughs> they had me down there, that was enough. Well, <laughs> well, that food there. Uh, should have gone the other way, wasn't it? <laughs> While we're speaking of that, did anybody have any problems entering their hours, their training hours? Good, good. It was very successful. At least it said it. Yeah. A copy or whatever acknowledged it. Okay. Uh, any uh, further questions regarding the payment of current invoices? Mr. Hess? Item two is the, uh, the uh, photo contract uh, for Sellersville Middle School, and they would like to ask the board to approve TSS as their. Uh, photographer for this school year. Any further questions in regard to the bids uh, for Summersville Middle School? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve consent item A as presented this evening? So moved. Mrs. Kaufman moves. Is there a second to motion? Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Mr. Barry seconds. Any further discussion in regard to consent item A? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Madam Secretary, the motion passes unanimously. Mrs. Atkins, Madam Superintendent, board members, is there a need for an executive session to discuss personnel matters? I hate to say so, but a brief one in order. Okay. Um, <sighs> All right, okay, uh, is there a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of discussing personnel matters as prescribed in West Virginia State Code? This is called for moves. Is there a second to the motion? Sorry. Mr. Amick, second. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Madam Secretary, we're in executive session at 5, 11 a.m. <laughs> Session. Wow. Yeah. Mrs. Kaufman moves. Is there a second for motion? Second. Mr. Barry seconds. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. <coughs> Madam Secretary, we're out of executive session at 5.36 p.m. Um, Mrs. Atkins. Yes, you have before you the updated personnel agenda. The changes are in red. An updated copy has been made available to the public and members of the press, but I will read over the changes. Under professional, um, strike uh, Lisa Sims as the Early Steps Family and Community Engagement Specialist for Golly River. She withdrew her name for consideration. We didn't have recommendations for welding teacher, ag teacher, sixth grade, or math teacher at Richwood High School. Um, now, I, they may have had applicants, and so they may, they didn't send me a uh, recommendation today, so I don't know if I need to repost these or if they're going to have recommendations for the next board meeting. But either way, if, if they don't have recommendations, they will be reposted. 
uh, for substitute teacher, add Charlie Sizemore and Ashley Wall. I didn't have any applicants for restricted substitute teacher. Under service, um, strike uh, substitute cook, custodian, and aide. We didn't have any new additions there. Uh, Tina Brown is still on page one, employing a position of early education classroom teaching assistant transportation aide for Summersville Elementary, effective upon WBDE approval. Uh, on page two, Deanna Smith, employing the position of halftime cook one at Summersville Middle School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Kayla Legg, employing a position of one-on-one -on -one transportation instruction aid two for a student currently enrolled at Nicholas County High School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Sabrina Winals, employing the position of one-on-one -on -one transportation instruction aid two for a student currently enrolled at Zila Elementary School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Brittany Hammond, employing the position of transportation instruction aid two at Cherry River Elementary School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Justin Bird, Employee in the position of Transportation Instruction A2 at Summersville Middle School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Lisa Milam, employee in the position of Transportation Instruction A3 at Nicholas County High School, uh, effective September 21st, 2021. Ethel Amick, employee in the position of Cook 3 Cafeteria Manager at Mount Nebo Elementary School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Rita Hanshaw, employee in the position of one-on-one -on -one transportation instruction aide, autism mentor for a student currently enrolled at Zila Elementary School, effective September 22nd, 2021. Dolores Johnson, employee in the position of transportation instruction aide three at Zila Elementary School, effective September 22nd, 2021. On page three. Uh, Laura Poff, employing the position of academic graduation interventionist for Richwood Middle School. Kathy Lester for academic graduation interventionist for Richwood High School. Ernie Jarvis for academic graduation interventionist for Summersville Middle School. Eugene Sparks for academic graduation inter uh, interventionist for Nicholas County High School. I did not get recommendations for interventionists at Panther Creek, Cherry River, or Birch River. Martha Bodiford, employee in the position of 21st Century After School Site Coordinator for Cherry River Elementary School, and I did not receive uh, recommendations for softball or assistant football coach. Under service extracurricular, Vanessa McClung, employee in the position of 21st Century After School Cook for Summerville Elementary School. Uh, on page four, Joanna Rose, employee in the position of 21st Century After School Cook at Gully River. I did not have recommendations for parent coordinator at Cherry River, Zila, Panther Creek, or Glade Creek. And Tammy Rader, employing the position of uh, NCCTC morning bus operator. And under consent, Emily Gregory resigns her position as payroll assistant with Nichols County Schools effective September 20th, 2021. And on page five, you do have some leave requests from employees. I will not read those aloud to protect their privacy. Are that payroll assistant? Yes. And she's resigned? Yes. Wow. Well, must be Will uh, Mrs. Uh, Gregory stay on? I'm working. She, she is working like under contract right now. So hopefully, till we can. She's been very kind. Yes. Peggy Gregory has been very kind to yes. help us. Okay. Yes. I, I told her it was like the Hotel California. She can check yeah, out, but she can yeah, never leave. leave. So her, her retirement was effective June 30th, and she's worked almost every day since then. Mm -hmm. Any questions further for Mrs. Atkins in regard to personnel? Did... Uh, Ashley Walt, did she apply for a certain area of substitute? No, there's no no areas for substitute. It's just okay. She has an MBA and she'd be good at math and business. Well, her and her husband bought 
talk to Fat Ed and Jeff. Oh, well, will she be interested in she being might. a teacher? We will certainly, I will certainly, and she might be interested in the, in the uh, payroll assistant position. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I guess Fat Ed is closed down in the winter. They do. Totally gone. <laughs> yeah. So. She would be good for a lot of Well, I know Charlie Sizemore is he's got an engineering degree and he is he's interested in alternative certification and he's actually in the process of signing up for um, for the praxis exams. So and he could teach a math class. Further questions relative to personnel. You have a uh, where uh, the math teacher at Richmond High School, uh, A. Berry, vacating. You, you have a temporary sub in there, don't you? Uh, I believe so. I mean, there has to be a sub in it. I, mean, uh, I don't recall who it is. But I don't, know, I don't know who it is either. I mean, usually when it comes to those positions like that that have been vacant for a while, the principal, the principal will go out and try to find a retired teacher or or somebody like that to fill that spot until we get it filled with an employee. So are we short one person in five minutes yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> we haven't put any application out yet. Well, we just got a resignation today, so I oh, couldn't okay. couldn't do anything with it until tomorrow anyway, so okay. what's the difference between an eight <laughs> A two and A three? It's about how many college hours they have. And I don't remember how many it is off the top of my head, but if they have so many college hours or if they have a year's experience in special ed, then they can be an 83. Any further questions on just personnel? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the personnel agendas presented? So moved. Mr. Andy Booz, is there a second to the motion? Second. Mrs. Kaufman seconds. Any further discussion relative to personnel? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Those opposed, like sign. Madam Secretary, the motion passes unanimously. Madam Superintendent, any information? Uh, we've been meeting with uh, Nicholas County High School and uh, Summersville Middle School principal and um, a few teachers to go over the internal um, design of the school and check the needs um, just like we did for the Richwood campus. So that's coming along very well. Uh, we also have a bid that's out for um, the Glade Creek property in uh, the Earth. Uh, you know, uh, removal, uh, leveling, uh, it's going to be, yeah, site prep, it's going to be, it'll take several months to do the work, but the bid is out, so hopefully it'll be out and awarded and, and we might see some work in the next 30 days, so it'll be, it'll be with around that time. Um, and what I'm hearing is after that occurs uh, and they get the, the site work done, um, you know, they'll be ready to go out for bid on the building and it will they anticipate it to go up rather rather quickly. So when are they going to let out the bid for Cherry River campus? The Cherry River campus bid will let be let out um, prior to the Glade Creek campus. Um, so the package they've not given us an official release date on on the package bid, but it will be um, it should be relatively soon. Um, they're trying to strategically plan it with the weather and um, you know they, they have a they have a whole plan laid out. Yeah. It'll, um, it'll need some earth moving too long before they yes. had they have yes. to level that. Yes. Here. Now that the pods are out, I guess they got all removed. No. Uh, they're not all out? There are ten pods just sitting there and they have in from my uh, Haven't been touched. Okay. Well, the ones by the road have been moved, though, right? They took some of them out and they rocked. 
Yeah, they, they, they told just, me. They just moved them up to the top from the bottom. <laughs> the Rocky them told me they took like, them out. Like Mr. Barry said, we're, we're, we're giving them a, a, a free parking lot. Well, we're trying not to give them a free parking lot. Um, I guess she went to go find Rocky. Um, Melissa put them on notice that if they didn't come get the uh, pods, that we would consider it and we would file for it being abandoned property. And that uh, we would pursue, pursue securing them under that means. Um, so, and she put them, she gave them a written notice. So she's going through the legal aspects. Um, I must have misunderstood. I, I thought that. We said they'd move some. I Rocky. Yes. Um, so he's saying that none of the pods have been moved. I'm going to go up in the morning at 7 15, look at buses anyway, not the exact count. But I thought the ones on the lower part had been moved out. He said they moved them and put them on the top. I put them to the top. That's I just thought they moved they're, out. Okay. There are 10. 10. There, there are 10 pods. Okay, so when I saw them up there, I said they took them out of there. But they moved to the top of the. Okay. I'm going to bring one of the So, So, Melissa had already put them on notice? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, the, you know, they want to get cute. We can get cute right back. So, yeah, you know, and it's, it's September, soon it'll be October, then it's winter, and now they're going to say the weather's too bad. It just goes on and on and on. Well, we've been given excuse after excuse. They told us there was three different trucking companies and the different companies couldn't move it because their crews got COVID. And because of that, so then, of course, Melissa got firm with them again. They said, well, we'll get this other company and we'll give it to the dates because I had um, emails from them stating that they were going to have a move. So I know a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from the company stating um, we're moving them on such and such date. So I and thought they, they had been moved. Around. I thought yeah. they had been moved. Yeah, I, I, I spoke to the guys when they were in there and they said something about they couldn't make a turn and so they were going to have to move them around and put them up top. <laughs> I thought, well, if you have to move them around and put them up top, we will make all kinds of turns. So why can't you just take them out? I, I don't know. I'm more turning. We'll have, um, Rocky, can you just make sure you stay on top of that so we yeah. can get, because she's already given them notice. I, I will call them tomorrow. I, I mean, just may have to start proceedings. Yeah. So we may end up owning some pods. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, boy. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Um, any further questions for the superintendent? Uh, item nine for uh, our tonight is reports. Uh, the SESC meets tomorrow, so I have no report. I should have one next board meeting, but there is nothing to report tonight. Uh, Mrs. Um, Kaufman, how about Bright Horizons? Uh, we did have the uh, meeting, but it was the short suite. And it was the usual. Get in and get out. I think we'll be there in 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, item 10 is delegations this evening. Uh, we had a person scheduled to speak, but I understand Madam Secretary is withdrawn. That's right. So we There's don't have uh, He did not show. Uh, item 11, items for future agendas. I think uh, spoke with Mrs. Young. Uh, special Education will be presenting at the next board meeting. All right. Uh, on the, it's the operations of that department. Okay. Uh, anything else? I know one time Mr. Amick asked if the uh, architects and the engineers could be here periodically. I'd like to see them and hear from them. It's a good idea. Maybe they could be here at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have them down scheduled for the October the 7th, I think. Yeah, yeah. October 4th. October, October 4th. Here. The newer drawings right here in front. Did you see those? Oh no. Is there uh, any way that they can put pressure on them about the pods? Get that stuff out of there. We need to. They they can't, but well, they I, don't have any. You know, if they don't move them, we'll give them to well, CTE, think, and they can. Well, I think them up I think Melissa's going to pursue an abandoned property yeah. if we can. Put a little work on and have an auction. 
Do we, still, do we still own the property at Fenwick? No, you refer it back to the um, National Forest. National Forest Service. Or the, yeah, oh, okay. that's how the state road got the. Yeah, usually I think whenever they turn those things back in after the, their life expectancy is gone, which these are, they usually just get rid of them for nothing. Well, we had offered to even help them find a location to park the the trailers, and they told us that no, they had a place that needed them. They would pull them out. It wasn't an issue. So they said they didn't need a place to store them. So use them down at the border. So they kept saying that it was. That it was, you know, because of COVID, they kept giving kept giving excuses because of trucking, and I know there is a trucking shortage right now. But they had, they but had I the thought they were. To move them. Yeah. Well, I don't see what the difference would be. Yep. I the last correspondence I had, I absolutely thought they were out. I didn't realize they were just referring to the lower lot. Yeah, I, I, I count them every day. I drive through there hoping one of them will be gone, but there's still <laughs> ten, ten every time. Do we? Do you know how many? Did we have ten? So you are fairly certain that they just moved them from the lower lot to the upper lot? Uh, there are ten of them up there. That's more than more of them up there. I know that. It was probably five or six. That was my understanding. Maybe I misunderstood him because it didn't no, make I very mean, much sense. Be. But. Uh, um, Okay, any uh, further items for future agendas? I have scheduled for the October 4th meeting we can have the architect and uh, report from special programs. <clears throat> Item 12 on this evening's agenda, future meetings, I'm not going to read down through those. Uh, those are also listed on our website, but the uh, secretary has uh, noted those meetings. I would mention to you, uh, please pay attention to number D there. Uh, which is uh, November the 9th. Uh, we will have a, an LSIC meeting and that will be held at Cherry River Elementary. And that generally includes the Richmond High School, Richmond Middle School, Cherry River, and Panther Creek, if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah. So just note that that one is at Cherry River Elementary that evening. Uh, having no other business on our agenda, is there a motion to adjourn this evening's meeting? Mrs. Kaufman moves. Is there a second for the motion? All right, y'all want to stay here the rest of the night? <laughs> second. That's I'm second. not second to anything. You don't want to second my motion. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Barry seconds. All those in favor, signify the second aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed, like sign. Madam Secretary, we're adjourned at 5.55 p.m., the shortest meeting this year.